Okay, now that we're familiar with Packscape, I'm going to talk a little bit about the basics of skinning. So let's start by opening up our main to folder. And let's choose a skin here. Let's go with the German Biker. This can be downloaded at the GC GCC website. I'm going to copy this to the desktop. And this is going to be the basis for a mod that we're about, or a, a new skin that we're going to make. So let's close out our main to. So this is what we're starting with. Inside of this skin, you'll see three folders. The models folder, scripts, and textures. The textures we're familiar with already um, after seeing the compass. This is the pictures. These are the textures, um, the picture files, TGA files. You can also use JPEGs in here. Um, inside the models folder is a player folder. And in it, in the player folder is, uh, there are two TIK f files. These are blueprints for your skin. The first one is a basic overall blueprint and the second one is an FPS TIK file which is a blueprint for what you see first person your hands your sleeves the shader file is located in the scripts folder the shader file links the textures to the TIK file it tells the TIK file what parts of your skin are to be shaded with which texture. So let's start by um, making a PK3 to build off of. We're going to drag all of this out. You want your shader file and your TIK files to open with a text program and now so right here this is the skin we have all the files out and we can delete all the files inside of this PK3 leaving the folders and what I like to do is add a subfolder here inside the textures folder and it I like to call it something that has to do with the skin um, so we're going to turn this German biker into a German biker with a red bandana or a red head. Something that will set it apart from the original skin. So I'm going to call this directory red underscore skin. And the reason I like to put a subfolder in here is because when you have multiple skins coming together into a skin pack, it's nice having the textures organized and separated to each particular skin so they don't conflict just in case you have textures that have the same name um, stuff like that so now this PK3 is completely empty all it has is the folders and we're gonna save this as let's save it as ZZZ red German biker since that's simple we'll go with the red theme So here's our new PK3. Here's our old one. This was copied so I can delete that. And now all we have to do is edit these files and throw them in to our new PK3. Before we start to edit these, let's start by looking inside of these text files. We'll start with the basic TIK. From the top here, This is the skeleton that your skin is based on, the structure, the overall structure. Your pants are going to be shaded by Jim Pants, and this is the map name. This is in your shader file, and then your shader file will link it to the texture. Same thing with your coat. Jim Top is the map name. and. Jim face, here's the hand shader, etc. 
down below this will actually tell your um, skin what voice now this is going to be an axis skin so we don't have to mess with that um, actually let's start editing, editing this now we're going to change everything that says gym to red because we're going to turn this into a red German biker and just to make things easy we're going to change all the f um, everything in here that says gym we're going to change to red there's an easy way to do this we're going to go to edit well, I'm still getting used to this program in your word pad um, you'll see a replace all let's see if I can find it here here's my replace function you want to replace um, everything that says Jim you want to replace with red replace all so here we no longer see Jim top Jim pants we see red top and red pants and we're gonna save this and instead of it being the German Mo Biker TIK let's call it the German Red Biker TIK so we know what the new one is and we're gonna close this out so here's our new one here's our old one let's get rid of the old one now let's look inside of the FPS and see what needs to be changed there's nothing that needs to be changed in this file all we're changing is the head on this biker and we're not changing the gloves we're not changing anything that you see from the first person perspective so really all we have to do is change the file name it's simple as that here's our new FPS TIK we can delete the old one and lastly the shader file this is where most of the mistakes are made just an extra space or an extra dot um, a wrong directory that will um, cause errors if you have an extra space you know just an extra space it's not gonna read it right it needs to be perfect so always double check your work let's start in here you see all the different maps this is the top pants etc we want to change everything in here that says Jim we want to change it all to red just like what we did so if you're using wordpad go edit and there's a replace we just found out mine is in here Jim to red and the other thing is we added a subdirectory so the textures are going to be located in textures red skin so we need to add a red skin directory this can easily be done by copying textures up through the backslash make sure it's not highlighted and go to the replace function TGA is highlighted I don't want that and paste you're gonna replace textures through the backslash with textures backslash red underscore skin backslash so here um, now we have the directory that we added into all of the maps you see them in here and so now it will be able to find the file because that's where it's gonna be located okay and we're gonna save this as red shader to the desktop and it's as simple as that can get rid of the old one now all we have to do is change our texture files um, the only one we're gonna edit really is the face the head we're gonna give him a red headband but we need to change the file names from red from Jim to red because that's what we called them in our shader file Okay, now these two are done. We're not going to edit those. This is the only one we're going to edit. And I'm going to open this with a picture program here. Let's just give him a red headband. 
and we can save this as a JPEG or a TGA even though it's written in our shader file as a TGA it will read both JPEGs and TGA so we're just going to overwrite this TGA file and now it will have the red texture so we're done all we have to do is throw everything into this PK3 file and pop the, the PK3 file into our main to and we'll have our new skin um, the TIK files go into models player so we're going to drag those in and it's very important that the beginning of your TIK file starts with a side uh, German this is what determines what skin what team your skin is on so it has to say either Axis or German or allied underscore red biker or allied British allied underscore British or allied underscore Russian and that will determine what team your skin is the red shader goes into the scripts folder and our textures are going to go into our new red skin folder we're going to save this and my screen recorder doesn't record my game I need a special codec that I don't have yet so go ahead and pop this into your main to folder and try it out see see what it looks like you'll be able to see the red headband and try doing this with um, any skin you can it's a lot easier to start off of a skin um, you can also build yours from scratch just by um, I'm starting a new PK3 with these basic folders models scripts textures and the player folder goes in there and all you have to do is build it from scratch and give it a name